What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing the Indoraptor from Prime One Studios. Been waiting a long time for this bad boy. Uh, finally arrived, although I only got one box. The other box is in transit. The monster big one that actually holds the dinosaur today. We just got the base. So I'm just going to unbox the base now. For you guys, it's going to be instantly. You're going to see the second box, but for me, it's going to be several days. Possibly who knows how long. Uh, so, here is the box though, it's pretty heavy, it's, you know, just thin and heavy, but it's just a base, so, not, uh, try to just lift it up. I'm really excited to add the Indoraptor. I delayed buying this for a long time. I actually had my exclusive convert through Sideshow and I decided, eh, I'm gonna pass. Now the original reason I was passing is because this movie, the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, is my least favorite Jurassic World movie. It's still good, but it's, it's my least favorite. I think if I was to rate it, I would go Jurassic World is number one, and then probably Jurassic Park one, and then maybe hmm, two, then three, and then Fallen Kingdoms last. Although I have a feeling the final one is going to beat them all. Although World was freaking so good. I thought it was a perfect movie. I loved it. That final battle was the best ever. Okay, so the base comes in two parts. It is pretty big, but I have plenty of space for this. Giant light up feature here. So here it is, limited to 300. Oh gosh, this is so wide. <laughs> All right, so the other part of the base, so there's four C batteries, it looks like. And then you press this button to turn it on and off. 4C batteries, wow. I mean, this has a ton of lights. So, crazy. Yeah, look at this. Although, from what I can tell, it goes like this. And it's just magnetized, boom, simple. That was very easy. That base goes on and off easy, which is nice, especially when you have to remove a base to, you know, change batteries. Uh, three C batteries, this should last a, a good while, but as you can see, quite a big base. Now we just gotta add the giant 40 inch wide Indoraptor. When I get that in, who knows when, today is Friday the 29th, I'll let you know when I actually get it. It just got pending acceptance because the box is so big from USPS. Uh, there is the base, very big. All right, folks, stay tuned. Alrighty, YouTubers, so I just got the Indoraptor in uh, today, Monday, so just a few days uh, really later, uh, one business day. But the box is monstrously big. It's probably one of the tallest boxes I've ever received. I mean, ECC Jason was overall a bigger box, but I think this might be the tallest I've ever received. Now, I know the Indoraptor is one complete piece at 40 inches long, so the box is not super, super heavy. I'm assuming it's made of the same materials, blue, which is really more of like a vinyl PVC type material, allows it for more extreme detail, prevents breakages. 
So I'm not gonna show me unboxing this. You know, it's just one dinosaur inside the styrofoam, but I will show you the dinosaur inside once I get it out, and then I'll just carry it into my statue room and put it on the base. Alrighty, so we finally got it out of the box. <laughs> it's such a pain to try to get this out of the box because it's so long. And it's just me, you know, life generally won't help me with unboxing statues pretty much ever. So uh, when you open the box, you do get a bazillion pamphlets. One is the instructions, and then two is really just, you know, a calendar and a bunch of pamphlets trying to sell you on their other products. So if we look at this assembly, I've already done the batteries in the base. We have two more pieces of the base inside here, and then just the Indoraptor and it's done. <clears throat> so it also did come with additional of uh, these when you open the box, uh, in case I guess any broke off during transit. So you can see right there, I don't see any broken off. But here it is. As you can see, monstrously long. There's that face, which looks killer. All right, so, and then here we have the roof top. Yeah, the two roof pieces and something else. Alrighty, so I'm gonna just show it to you guys now, set up. Alrighty, YouTubers, here is the Indoraptor. And I will say it is better than I expected. Uh, it always looks pretty good in pictures, but you can never really gauge how good something is until you really receive it in hands. You know, just like Blue, when I first saw Blue in person, I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. And here is the companion piece. These are both from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. You know, the Indoraptor is the main villain dinosaur in that movie. Now, this is not as big as the T-Rex 110. The 110 T-Rex is definitely bigger. I held them side by side. Obviously, I couldn't record myself doing it, but the T-Rex is bigger. Now, if the T-Rex's tail was outstretched, it'd also be longer. But this is longer because it isn't outstretched, because it is stretched out and not curled up like this one. Now I'm glad they curled this because otherwise it'd be Block and Blue's view. But this is a monster big piece, no doubt. It definitely has a very good presence. You know, look at it next to next to some one four scales. Very, very big. You know, it's one six scale uh, for the Indoraptor. So it's a very, very good size. That's another one six raptor. So I have two raptors and one six, and now an Indoraptor, and then my one tenth, one to one bust, one fifth T-Rex. So I do like this quite a bit. I think it's very, very cool. Uh, it does fill this display nice, although there is definitely a lot of empty space right there and technically I could scoot it over. So who knows if I could just fit another dinosaur or something right there. Now I know I could easily fit all my one tenth scales, but I don't really want to mix those. I'd either mix something else that's in scale with this. Like if they did a true Owen one six scale statue, I would consider that and put it right there. You know, because I really do like Chris Pratt in Jurassic World. But this definitely looks awesome. So I got that poster from Amazon. Uh, it fills it nice and good. It's the Indoraptor. So obviously it talks about the different samples and different things, how it was, you know, genetically created. First, let's check out this space. So this is meant to be one of the final scenes in the movie when they're on top of the rooftop. So this does light up, which I will show you. Uh, but this has the exact same underbase as all the other Jurassic Park statues, really, where it's a bunch of bones. Uh, and I really love the way Prime One has done this with their Jurassic line. I think it's a freaking brilliant idea in doing, like, the whole bones, you know, because that's how we know dinosaurs today is from seeing their bones at museums. So they're really giving you that little aspect to it. And I like how they do the movie it's from as well as the name. You know, that says Indoraptor, that says Blue. So I love how they did that. Now, this base is not your typical jungle base like Blue is. No, this is really more from the first part of the movie where they captured Blue, where this is at the end battle scene. I guess it would be nice to have them, you know, let them have the exact same base, although I still think I like the whole jungle theme better, uh, just because, you know, that's where I view dinosaurs, is in the jungle. Uh, but this is still a cool base nevertheless. So... I'll show you the light-up feature, which is very, very bright. It takes four C batteries. So check that out. 
when you turn the light up like that, it really just has such an awesome presence. Alexa, turn off Lord of the Rings statues. So, actually, I still need to stall her for this room. Alexa, turn on Lord of the Rings statues. But you can just see how bright this is. It's absolutely crazy. All right, so here is with the main ceiling light off. So you can see, you know, it's a very, very bright base and looks very, very cool. So I'm glad that they made this actually battery operated just because it'd be quite difficult to get this connected via adapter to my console. But let's turn it off for now so we can uh, get a better look at the Indoraptor because it does shine quite a bit on him. So he has extremely sharp claws. Uh, you know, if you were to touch them, they're actually quite sharp. And then he has very similar, you know, look like blue where it's extreme dinosaur, you know, scales and texture all throughout. He has this orange pattern all throughout him. You know, that's part of his trademark. And then he has all these like little, I don't know what you want to call those, but he has like these little things coming out of them. Almost like porcupine needles is how I kind of see it. But they look cool. And I like the orange theme with the, really it's like a dark, dark gray, almost black. He also has a glossy look to him. You know, especially like look at the claws there. Very glossy, you can see just, man, if that was to just tear right through a person. So definitely very dangerous when it comes to the claws, much more than like the raptor. Even as, you know, bite and mouth, you know, look at the face. So he has red eyes, almost like Sauron eyes. If you look at that, the eye of Sauron really does look like it. it's pretty cool. Uh, and then the mouth is, you know, pretty glossy overall. The teeth look sharp. They're random. Not as many as like the raptor, but it's definitely a very cool looking dinosaur, no doubt. And it is quite big, no doubt. It's kind of crazy. It's almost the exact same pose as that poster too. So it looks excellent together. His eyes are smaller than Blue's though. If you look at him, look at Blue. Blue has bigger eyes. But you know, Prime was very good at getting this movie accurate. So they did a really good job. I really love the texture work on the dinosaurs. I think, you know, I'm a huge fan of dinosaurs. I love the Jurassic movies. They're so good. And I'd love to own all the major dinosaurs from each movie. You know, get the Spinosaurus for Jurassic Park 3. I mean, the T-Rex was the main villain for the first two. Now we got that. And then really the Indominus Rex for Jurassic World. Oh, I love the Indominus Rex. I'd love to get those two, the Spinosaurus and the Indominus Rex. If I could somehow find space for that, I would love to get those two. You know, being 1 15th scale, I think I'd want to pair them together and separate from these. But I would love to get those. Now, they're about as big as this guy, basically. Just, you know, different scale, but same size, more or less. Like, they're both 40 inches tall, 20 inches, or 40 inches wide by 20 inches tall. Now, this shelf is a Stuva. His tail's almost hitting the back, and he's coming out a lot. So you do be mindful, if you're considering this, that if you you know, need to have them enclosed in like a glass, you know, cover, you'll need a lot of depth because of the pose. You know, it's angled diagonally, really. It's not side to side. For me personally, it works amazing on my display. The only thing I would love if, if I could have got the exclusive, then I could have displayed it right there, then it wouldn't look as empty. I may consider something down the line that's one six scale uh, to see if I could fit it there somehow. It'd be great if I could fit blue there, but blue would simply not fit uh, too much down there. But if I could fit blue there, that'd be sweet. But I'm quite happy with this Indoraptor. I think it looks very, very cool. If I had to give this an overall rating, I'd say it's a 8.75 out of 10 statue. I think they nailed the pose, the details, the paint job, the likeness. I mean... I don't really find any faults with it. I mean, granted, like I said, I like the jungle theme bases better, but that's still an awesome base, especially with the light up feature. So overall solid statue. Now this is priced at uh, basically, I think 750 or $800. I think it's 800, 850 for the exclusive. 
Uh, so pretty decent price for what you get. I mean, you get monster big dinosaur with a really good detail and paint job for $800. Uh, you just need a lot of space. That's the only thing with the dinosaur pieces. They take a lot of space, especially the width. It's not the height, it's the width. And width is harder to display than height is, you know, because most shelves are built so you can, you know, display higher stuff. When it's super wide, you know, it makes it very, very difficult. Like it has to be like a top shelf type of statue or something like this, you know, even blue his tail sticking out of that shelf. And so that's why I have it like that. So the only thing I wish Prime One would do is stop doing the tails super long. They should curl it like Iron Studios did. That's one recommendation I do is curl that tail in so it's not as wide so you can fit more statues in the shelf. I mean, I like seeing the tail long like that, but it just is a space hog, you know? And so, but if you're a big Jurassic collector, like that's all you collect, this is definitely a must have in my opinion. He definitely got to get pretty much all the Prime One Jurassic Park pieces. I think they're all phenomenal. But let me know your thoughts and comments below. I'm super happy to get this and add it to this room. Now all we need is the Iron Man Battle Damaged Bust, which Queen did confirm is 100% complete. Uh, just got to wait for Chinese New Year to complete, and then my retailer says it will ship. Uh, so that one's two boxes. I'll probably just do economy shipping to save some money. Uh, but once we get that, then the room's sort of complete. Well, full more or less. But I eventually will get the Dilophosaurus to go there and move or sell that Jurassic Park. Because I do want to get that. Just because I don't want, you know, too many raptors in this display. I already have a bust, blue. I love having the classic one. But I want to put the Dilophosaurus there. I think that would go better there. And it will fit. Plus it's better detail. You know, this is an old, old piece. I got it for 250 bucks, So... I regret nothing. It's still very, very cool. And I'll still keep it most likely, just move it somewhere. But I think it would make this display look better. Anyways, folks, that is it. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.